saw this thing. But it was just like the, the adrenaline flu, you know. I mean, I was I was shocked, excited, uh, just like all of them. They do exist, you know. At one time in my life, right shortly after the film footage, I was totally convinced that no one could fool me. And, of course, I'm an older man now, and I see a lot of things, and I think there could have been a possibility. But it would have had to have been really well planned by Roger, and I feel that they would have had to have been very, very careful, because I had a 30 6 loaded with 180-grain bullets, and had that thing have turned and rushed me, I would have shot it. So I feel that if that was a hoax, somebody was taking an awful big chance with their life. I want to show you. Get up. What? Come on. I promise it's worth it. No. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Get up. Get up. What do you think? Look at that. Did you find it? Ralph did. And he'll never guess where. Down by the sawmill. Betty Red's property. We're close, Molly. Bigfoot? Hell, I never seen no Bigfoot. Boy, what are you doing? Get out of the rain, go y'all wet and shit. Now, the question is, how come all the footage and picture stuff is all, it's all just blurry or whatever? I figure by now they, you know, get a clean picture of them or something. You know, it looks good. Maybe he's just blurry. Yeah, I done saw it. Damn thing took all my apples. Ain't but one good way to catch a squatch. Apples. Yep. It was the summer of 96. I saw it while I was out hunting with my buddy. I was going through the brush and uh, when it got real quiet. And then we started like hearing something and it was like, Rocks being knocked together. I'm sorry, I, I don't I don't talk about it much. It was like a warning. And then we saw it. It came out right in the open. The thing must have been like nine feet tall. Thank you for coming, Dwayne. I heard from Betty Red that. You guys were here, and I just knew I had to come and tell you about what I saw. You've had a sighting? Oh, yeah. About a week ago? I, I fly a helicopter for aerial photography. I was flying north of the Cascades, and when I came into the ridge, I saw this thing following me. It must have been nine or ten feet tall. It followed me for miles. It went through the brush like it was nothing. It gives me the chills just thinking about it. Do you think that you could show us on that map where you saw it? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's Rose Lake. On one side, there's a resort, and on the other, there's wilderness. found three more sightings up by the Black Ridge. What do you think? I think we need more cameras in the Cascades. We're joined today by Adam Sutton, son of the late cryptozoologist Grover Sutton, and Molly Nyquist. If something like this really does exist, the implications would be profound, not just 
for us as, as scientists and in our community, but for the entire human species. I mean, we're talking about bridging the gap between primates and people evolutionarily as primatologists and, and just as explorers. How could we not study something like this? You know, so it, it's a frontier that we're going to continue to push, uh, much like my, my father did, rest his soul. What are we doing, Molly? It just feels like we're chasing a ghost. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if we're just wasting our time out here. It's an occupational hazard. We've gotta be objective. Look at the facts, collect the data. It's all we can do. And you think my father was concerned with being objective? All he had was his belief, and that's all he needed. What happened to Grover was terrible. I, I did exactly what he had taught me. If there's no other escape, slowly drop to the ground, make yourself as small as possible. I just laid there and listened to the bear. His lifelong search just cut short when he was the closest. I have to finish that search. Then let's finish it. Yeah, you never came to bed. I'm sorry. I heard something on the video. Yeah? Maybe it was nothing. people know we're out here? You're looking at them. We're not crazy. You're here to prove that. Keep an eye out.
He went north, but I don't see anything. Do you? Nothing. It was standing right here. I finally had it. I'm sorry, Adam. I had it! I'm sorry I wasted your time. They're getting away. I, I can't. I built this. It's beautiful. He can finish that search. Our packs are close with our supplies. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> 